So this guy didn't get much of, of a redesign. A little bit. Not too much. And all the dialogue was re-recorded as well. Um, I'm going to assume just because the audio chip is so much better on the PS5 that it was they had to re-record it. I don't like some of the re, -re of the re-readings. Uh, I think Baldwin here is fine. Um, Ricky over there, I think his readings are way worse, which is unfortunate. I wish there was an option to make it both. Let's repair them all. Maisel. Same uh, same voice actors, I believe, but just re-recordings for whatever reason. And they just didn't do as good of a job directing them. I hear the exit gate from Dead by Daylight. She, she looks very... She looks more... Believe it or not, she looks more gremlin-like in this one than she does in the PS3 one. Because the PS3 one, um, I don't know if they use custom character stuff, but they did here. Um, and this is the person that everyone writes notes in front of that says sticky white stuff in the PS3 version. Sticky white stuff is not in this game. I don't remember what they call it now, but it's changed for some reason. I can't think of what, though. Their facial expressions are bad because there was no facial expressions before. That's what I was saying when they first came. No one sp speaks with their lips. They speak with their mind. But here they lip flap and it's bad. So let's get on to the Archstone of the Covetous King. I believe it was called the Archstone of the Small King, I believe, in the PS3 one. And we're going to the Gates of Balataria. A huge stone castle in the heart of the northern kingdom of Balataria. Hungry soldiers attack trespassers, their souls stolen by demons, while nearby terrible dragons have taken roost. Well, my theory on dragons is, in this sky, not only Skyrim, but Final Fantasy XIV have told me that dragons are cunts. And, <laughs> and yeah, most people have zero experience with this game, because it was PS3 only, in like 2009. And there's the dragon with lots of people in his mouth. He's gonna have a meal. But dragons are cunts. They are especially in this. Um, they've though I do uh, I do have a specific uh, I do have specific belief when it comes to dragons and that won't be mentioned right now. Uh. It's just a big, dumb wyvern with a uh, bunch of people in his mouth. And yes, they are not dragons. I can... There's a couple dra actual dragons, but it's a stupid thing to be annoyed at, but I, get, I do get annoyed when people call them dragons when they're like this. Skyrim is bad for it, too. At least Final Fantasy XIV dragon is like a race, and um, every dragon... Oh, God. Every dragon actually... Um, like, proper dragons actually have arms and, li like, arms and legs and not just, um, the two legs. It's really weird that that keeps, that's a mistake that keeps getting made. I know it's a mistake that doesn't really matter, but it's stupid. Like, there's some, there's words for those. Those are wyverns. There, is there, I don't think there's any proper dragons in this if we go by that. Uh, Dark Souls has some, but they're the mega cunts. The mega ultra bosses of each game is a dragon, and fuck them. <laughs> and yes, Ragdoll is back. Shakes head in D&D. Well, who listens to D&D nowadays? Definitely not Elder Scrolls. Yeah, Pope. This is what you. This is when you're fighting like Grimer and Pokemon. You don't want to touch it because it's icky. This is how you beat him. Mm. Big gate. No one wants me in there. I wish I my weapon could be on fire permanently. But speak of the devil, I just got something to let my weapon be on fire. Hmm. I'm a huge fan of um, animation, like like 
and cool details and animation and stuff. Um, it's the first thing I really look at whenever I see something uh, new or like the first thing I pay attention to. And the animation is amazing in this game with stuff like that. They redid all the animations. The... <laughs> Everything's the same in this game except for the visuals. Um, well, and like audio, because uh, they redid all of the music and they redid all the voice work, as I mentioned. Um, but animations are all different while keeping the feel of the flow of the combat the same because they didn't actually do much coding wise. It's actually still the same game like underneath all this visual polish which is really friggin weird and the people that did this port are the people that did the shadow of the colossus port in ps4 and that was the same thing though i think i hear people say that there's differences gameplay wise with that i don't really notice but they say i have to actually play that all the way through sometime i never played the PS4 version all the way through because it's the kind of thing it came out at a time where I grabbed it because it was dirt cheap for uh, the game it is it was only 50 bucks brand new like here in Canada um, so I grabbed it and then I played it for a couple colossi and I'm like yeah let's try the bosses and then I just went on to something else huh. I'm too busy I think <laughs> I think it came out at the time when I was just replaying Souls games all the time. There's always something keeping me stuck from actually moving on to and playing through games. Um, back then it was Souls games, I was just constantly replaying them. Crappy Mail Breaker. Um, like replaying Bloodborne, replaying Dark Souls 2, replaying Dark Souls 3. Um, and right now it's Final Fantasy 14 that's keeping me from going. Oh, and that was Dead by Daylight! For a good while, I put so much time into Dead by Daylight, and I should really go back to it. Not that much time, but I should go back to it more. I've only been playing on stream recently. Um, but now it's Final Fantasy XIV keeping me from going anywhere, because I am addicted to that game. Though I wouldn't really change that, because I'm having a blast with it, and it's got a lot of like great moments story-wise. And Oh my god, I thought I was dead. It's got a lot of great moments story-wise and all that, so I'm have I'm having a great time. Oh, but I would like to play other things. I bought Nier, and I've only played it for like a couple hours. Man Eater, yeah, it, it, Man Eater is pretty cheap. Um, I heard Man Eater was good though. I heard it was good. Um, I never heard that it was uh, short and repetitive. I like. It got, a, it got 7 out of 10s, which is good to me. A lot of people say that 7 out of 10 is barely, like, is barely passable, which, yeah, I get what they, what they mean for, like, 80 bucks uh, here in Canada. Again, you'd want to get what you pay for, but 7 out of 10's fine. I love some 7 out of 10 games. I love some 7 out of 10 games more than I love uh, big triple A's. Like, I'll, I'll take games like, um... Deadly Premonition over Last of Us. Come on here. Oop. Uh, yeah, two and a half days is pretty short. It's a platinum it, but how long, how long were you playing it? I got time, and I just got a bastard sword. Can I wield this thing? No, I need 18 strength. I don't know what I'm going for this build, like this run. Um... I should probably just double down on magic. Maybe dex magic. Uh, but I do want Maneater. I technically own it because they gave it away for free on PlayStation Plus for PS5. Just the PS5 version, though. And I kind of want the disc. Because it's, it's an RPG, isn't it? Like, Maneater's an RPG. Uh, which is weird as hell. But it is. I'll play a shark RPG. Though I don't think anything will ever beat, um... I, I don't think everything, anything will ever beat Jaws Unleashed for the PS2 for me when it comes to sh dumb shark things. Uh, I've only beat the first level of that game because I had to stop. As soon as I seen the quest go collect key card, I had to stop. 
yeah, I'll probably play it sometime since I got it for free. I do want the disc just to own, especially for PS5, because I've got four PS5 games, five maybe? Um, one's out tomorrow, or yes, tomorrow, um, Returnal, but I don't really have any money to get it, because Pokemon Snap's also out tomorrow. Oh god, I will not fall just because I'm getting cocky. Heal. Especially not where I am. Like, oh god, you'll see why I would did not, why I'm so adamant on not dying here in a second. I got his shield! I don't think I ever did. Yeah, Pokemon Snap's nostalgic for me too. I have to grab it tomorrow. I might stream it. Someone, um, someone convinced me not, like, uh, someone convinced me that I, um, should just stream things to stream them and play them rather than, like, just to forward anything. So, yeah, I sh I'll probably stream it. <laughs> Whoop. I'm off the day after, so I will probably do that because I'll have time. I only intend to get past the first boss here. Oh god. You can actually uh, you can actually get killed by that flurry so quickly, especially whenever they've got flame weapons like this, so you have to be careful. But I only want to get past the first boss, and then I'm probably going to switch over to Dead by Daylight. It's just an easy it's an easy fun stream game, and I'll be playing Survivor this time, which means it'll be downtime. No, I don't want to kill some survivors. I want to be some survivors. I want to adapt all the survivors. Um, I already have most of their trophies. I think all of them, maybe. Oh, God. I wasn't paying attention. I am, I think I've got all the trophies, but I want to... Um, yeah, I'll fix those gens after I beat this boss when I get to him. If I get to him with these guys. Said. Oh, this that was a great camera angle, by the way. Come on, you. Um, but I already have most of the Adept trophies for the Survivor, but I've just been wanting to... Oh god, I've just been wanting to actually do it again, just for challenge sake, especially whenever I'm at a higher rank. Um, and I wanted to do what I've seen, the like, person I watch online play Dead by Daylight, it's called Grandmaster Challenges, or Grandmaster Adept, where they do it with no perks, or add-ons, or offerings, or anything. I want to do that with Survivor too, because I'm not good enough to do that with Killer. Yeah, true. That's who I was just trying not to mention him, but I mentioned him. He did it with everyone, and I'm not going to be able to do it, but I'll try it with Survivor. <laughs> Ragdoll, I don't get why people wanted it back. Um, I understand why people like Ragdoll. It can make um, things look better. But, and this is why I was trying desperately not to die. So I opened, not only did I open a shortcut back to the beginning, um, I get a very important item. The cling ring. So let's put that cling ring on over the provi uh, providential ring. Cling ring, less HP reduction when in soul form. Because if you didn't notice, my HP is half. Because I'm dead. Put on that cling ring though. And yeah, it's about, like, it's two-thirds now. And let's pick up this worthless gear. Because I think that's still gender-locked. Oh, it is over my HP. Let me see for a sec. Let me take this cling ring off. And can I turn that off? There we go. See? My HP is half. And then I put the, whoop, pop that off for a sec again, sorry. I uh, put the cling ring back on. Now my eye, my HP is at two thirds. I'll have to find somewhere else to put the, the follower thing just for this. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. I'm going to, good idea, I'm going to move that. Just one sec, since I think I can do it live. Well, cool. Let me just scoot her down. So there we go. Did that? Does that display for you? Uh, 
I've never had to move anything live. Yeah, there we go. So now... There we go. Now you can see my HPs. It's just going to be in a weird, awkward spot, though, whenever I don't have um, anything showing. I prefer the dynamic uh, HUD, though. Dark Souls 2 is the first game in, to introduce it, I believe. And I adored it in every single one. I can't remember if Bloodborne had it. I know Dark Souls 3 does. Because Bloodborne was sort of like a, a leap forward, but then they fell back onto their arses instead of landing, sticking the landing. Because it, it's better than Dark Souls 2, like a hell of a lot better than Dark Souls 2. But it doesn't have some of Dark Souls 2's refinements. Such as jumping by clicking the left stick in instead of pressing circle. Sprinting. Whoever decided that sprinting and jumping with the same button is the stupidest. Beginner's trap. Kill this guy. And now time to show something that's really stupid. And if you came back to this after playing any Souls game, you would never know. We. Because no, why would you know this? Why would they do this? And for something very amazing. The thief ring. Let's look at that ring. Become harder for enemies to detect. It's as good as it sounds. I'm only going to be wearing it if I decide to play alive. Which I guess I will for stream's sake. I'll play alive. Um, I don't want to play, you don't want to play alive because if you die, it can hurt your world tendency and people will invade. Um, but I'll do that. Who cares? It's not my main account. Not my main character either, even if it was. So who are you, mysterious guy from the cover and the intro and the disc and the deluxe edition of the PS3 and the PS3 cover? A surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dreglings. Dreglings. Uh huh. Yeah, Stealth 100. And this is also, this is like dark, uh, Skyrim Archery 100. Archery and Sneak 100. They, what was that noise? What was that? Oh, I must have been imagining things. Yeah, fall into the fire almost. Don't want to talk to you yet because you'll just walk away from me. You give me that item. Yeah. Touched your dick. My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Astrava of <laughs> Skyrim stealth is my favorite thing. Oh hey Astrava of Boletaria. Are you Ezio Auditore da Firenze? And he just carries on his merry little way. And that was weird looking. Oh Jesus. Okay, Astrava's getting in on the action here. And you, if anyone who's familiar with Souls games will know that what they're seeing is a fucking blasphemous motherfucking, like, weird witchcraft. There's an NPC that's walking around and gets in fights with enemies with me. Like, it's baffling. No other Souls game does this. And this was the first one. It's weird as hell. He can get himself into some shit, though, so you want to stick with him. He will... He could die. Oh! Hey, Estrava. See this? Yeah! It's like co-op, but it's not. Oh! Yeah. So I don't remember where he... He has a... Like he has a... Yeah, teamwork. Teamwork with my boy. You're not quite Solaire, but you're pretty cool. Your shield is stupid, but cool. Oh, did they make your shield less stupid? I think they did. Ow. His shield was really stupid on the PS3 version. Whoa. His shield was um, full of holes. And it looks like it still is, but not as much. I don't like that I stay locked on for a second after they die. That's weird. It has been a while since I played the PS3 version, so this could all be in the PS3 version. I will actually play the PS3 version eventually, because I feel it's worth playing on its own as well. 
it's worth experiencing. Ooh, just because they do change some designs. No, I don't want to kill him and take his stuff. Killing him. Um, this game has something very different than other games. I will show you after this room is clear. If I can do it. So, Strava, you going to stand there? You going to help, bruh? Swing at me. Good thing you can't hurt me. I can hurt you, but you can't hurt me. Oh. Oh. Now Strava could be getting in some shit, so I have to go and see what he's up to. Because there is still a couple more. And yes, magic is very OP at this part of the game. It becomes less as the game goes on, obviously, but the beginning magic is very OP. Which is why I picked it, because I'm, str I'm, I'm streaming and slash recording and slash talking. So I'd like to not die. Like, all the time. I'd like to actually make it through this game. Hey, I didn't want to back step away. Oh, they hit a Strava. Sneak attack at the start of the second round right there. Look at this lighting. Look how pretty this is. Look at that guy. Can I, oh, I can't even target him through there. That's weird. Okay, so Strava is going to just stick around here. He's safe. Um, so let's see why you don't want to kill NPCs in this game. This is the world tendency and character tendency. This doesn't exist in any other Souls game because this is way higher concept than they had the ability to pull off. The, um, the little eye, Sauron eye things underneath all the stones there shows the tendency of the world. Ranging from black, well from pure black, black... Uh, white and pure white. They start at white, I believe, and they can build up towards pure white. And at pure white, the game's easier, and thing like the area is easier. You get less souls, and um, different events happen. Pure black, different events happen. Dark uh, black phantoms start appearing, and the game's harder but gives more souls, I believe. Um, this one though is why you don't want to character tendency. You have the same thing where killing NPCs lowers this to pure black and raising um, and killing black phantoms raises it to uh, pure white. So that's why I don't want to because um, it does it can affect things. Not too many things and I don't think we'll see it affect anything here. Uh, but I don't feel like it. Whenever I'm... Oh, oh. Whenever I could be punished for something like that, I definitely don't want to do it. Though, in my, um, this character, I'm, pl I'm playing this character on my, um, my own, on my other account, and I did kill him, because it lets you get access to a really strong piece of armor set if you want to cheese the game. Man, I heard Dead by Daylight. But it's... Uh, oh! So if you want to cheese the game, uh, you can kill him. The only way to properly cheese the game with that, though, is to get someone to, like, to have a friend invade you and you keep killing them to raise your tendency back up to pure white. Because um, you get a special endgame weapon for doing that that's stronger uh, whenever your character tendency is pure white. Which, it's hard to do on the PS5 because who the fuck has a PS5 to invade you? Come on, you are. Ow. My back's up against a pit here. Yeah, I re the main reason I don't feel so bad using magic is this weapon's garbage. These enemies would be dying in a couple hits um, with a better weapon. Though I will, before I, um, though before I stop after I beat the first boss, if I can, um, I will be getting a better weapon. It's the cheesiest weapon in the game to a lot of people. And I agree. It's not the easiest, we the best weapon in the game, but it's definitely the cheesiest. You bonk no one, sir. You bonk the, you bonked no one. Because no, nothing, nothing horny is going on that need to be bonked. I'm just stabbing people with my thin sword. <laughs> 